What's going on guys, BDG Crypto here. If you like crypto, if you like crypto mining, hit the subscribe button, hit the likes, leave us a comment below. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a little unboxing of the Hive Mapper dash cam. Earn crypto while you drive. We're gonna unbox this guy, check it out, see what comes in the box. Um, and then we're gonna jump into setting this guy up. So stick with us. All right, guys, let's get to it. So if you're not familiar with Hive Mapper, basically it is a dash cam and it basically takes, you know, film of you driving everywhere. So, and based on how much you drive, you get paid out in their own token called Honey Tokens. So check out the web website here. Uh, Building a better map together, the world's first crypto enabled dash cam represents a fundamental shift in how maps are built order today and begin mining honey tokens um but yeah so they're fairly new um you're gonna see a lot of videos popping up here and there of them if you haven't already um i think they have these guys in stock except for they make two of them yeah so there's the other one um this is the one we're gonna show you today i don't believe they have this one out of uh the warehouses yet they're not shipping these guys only this one so yeah all right so let's jump into it and unbox this guy so here it is smaller type box open it up qr code for setup there owner's manual i think it's just a bunch of safety stuff i read through it a little bit but nothing really on setup or nothing so you're going to want to go to that qr code to set up what else do you get you get the camera itself it's kind of a little bit more bulkier than i thought it was going to be um but not bad you got little camera type mount threads on the bottom there um but yeah there it is that looks like a hink seat heat sink on the back so don't touch that i'm sure it gets hot um you also get some mounting hardware looks like a window mount style there with a 3m sticky so you stick it on your window screw it into the bottom of the camera what else we got oh and power cord so you're going to plug this into um cigarette lighter type port and then plug it into the side of your camera and that's basically all it comes with so seems pretty simple we're going to jump onto the app right now um and start getting that all set up so stick with us we'll throw that up on the screen and run through all that and get this thing all set up all right so we're gonna click on the app store there download hive mapper open this bad boy up Okay, now it's gonna want us to connect wallet. You click on that, you're gonna wanna probably download Phantom Wallet. We already have it, so it's gonna pop it right open. We're gonna create new wallet here. All right, so we're gonna turn Face ID on, and then it's gonna show your private keys, so don't show these. All right, there we're all done. We get the nice confetti. We're gonna go ahead and connect the wallet. There we go. And now we're back to Hive Mapper and they've gotta connect the dash cam Wi Fi. All right, we're gonna jump back into the app. We're gonna wanna connect the dash cam Wi Fi. So you hit that, it's gonna run us through some setup. Now you have the orientation of how you wanna set this thing up the B facing upwards. So, like the green check there. Now it shows you right here what each light means, the top one being the dash cam, middle one being the GPS, and the bottom one being the power. So it'll be, you know, green is a good sign. The bottom one just means it's connected to the app. So that's gonna go in and out. Step two, you're gonna wanna connect your dash cam to the Wi-Fi using the password Hive Mapper. Make sure it's all lowercase when you punch that in. So we're gonna go to open settings and connect that right now. There we go, Wi-Fi settings. There it is, dash cam, and we're going to enter the password, Hive Mapper, lowercase. Let 
looks like we're connected we're going to jump back into the app now allow hive mapper to connect and there we go we are connected we're going to wait for it here the camera should fire up and show us what it is viewing and there you go it is turned on so now we're basically ready get out and drive you know we'll run through a couple of the buttons here at the bottom and show you what we have in the app here all right so the next tab over is going to be your map you have this buzz feature here you're going to hit this thing for anything for hazards closures uh, anything unusual that you want them to check out or whatever so you're going to hit that if you see anything like that And then you have the map here. So this is what it's gonna look like when you're driving. You got the pink hexes all over the place. That's areas that have been traveled and mapped already. So you're gonna to wanna to try and go on the areas that haven't been mapped as you'll get a higher yield and hunting token for that. So don't just drive on the freeway and try and get all over the place. And then you got your wallet tab here. Your rewards are gonna show up right here once you get driving and you complete a week, they'll start showing up right now. It's not gonna show anything, so don't worry. They will start showing up after you complete a whole week and rewards will come through usually on Thursday. They'll show pending prior to that. And then you got the settings tab here where it shows your hive mapper and then you got, you know, hive mapper support, discord, wallet connect and all that good stuff. All right, guys, so that's basically it. You've set up the hive mapper there. You've seen how it's done. Um, basically, you're just going to be mapping the roads, doing something like those Google cars that you see with the cameras on the top, you know. So you're basically taking the monopoly away from them and doing that. It's fairly easy to get this thing set up. My overall review so far is good. It's super easy. Um, just drive around. I don't usually go out and, you know, spend gas money on just hive mapping. I only use it when I'm doing other stuff. You know, I'll door dash during the day once or twice a week, so I'll use it then, and then I commute to work about 20 minutes a week. So basically, I'm going to pull my profitabilities up for the last week I did it um, and throw it up on the screen here so you can see what you're expecting. Um, so, I mean, I made something around 100 or 800 and something honey token um, for this you know basically just over a week one day in a week or so um so basically i'm pulling in about i think it was somewhere around uh 23 dollars or so hold on let's see give me a sec here all right so basically i did i think it was 874 total we got 734 in one week so let's jump over here onto coin market cap and check how much honey token we actually earned so let's see here all right so we're on coin all right so we're on coin market cap here and we'll go over to this and type honey there we go hive mapper honey token and we'll scroll down here let's see what do we let's just check it out our one month so we are up a little bit you know there was a large spike there so it's doing all right we'll go to the converter here and for that one full week we did we got 734 honey tokens and see that's about twenty dollars there so you know like i said we are doing about let's say about you know six uh, to seven hours if that um of some door dash hive mapping and then the rest of the days during the week i got about a 20 to 30 minute commute to work that i use it for i'm mostly on the freeway the whole time so not yielding a ton there but as you can see i'm i'm generating about you know 20 dollars a week and honey token just doing that so you know if you are a gig worker like a door dasher or something like that um where you are basically going to be driving a ton on side streets maybe you're an amazon delivery person those guys work a ton of hours if you know i'm not mistaken some of them up to 10 12 hours a day um if you're able to throw this dash can up in one of those you know vans those amazon vans you'll probably kill it um you know even a ups driver fedex driver any of you guys you guys are on side streets all the time um you know door dashers if you do door dash full time you'll do great 
um, you can only use this thing during the week. Um, you, I mean, not during the week. I apologize. During the day, you can't use it at night because the camera's got to pick up basically light. You know, you won't be able to see anything in the night. But um, other than that, you know, it's pretty cool. I, I would recommend it for those people that do, you know, get out on the road a bit. If you are going to buy this thing just to drive around and waste gas, I don't recommend it because you'll probably burn through more gas than what you're going to make. So use it if you already are, you know, out on the road. Don't just buy this thing and then drive around and try and do it that way. Um, other than that, probably try and snag one of these things soon. Who knows what's going to happen? It could turn into one of the helium type deals where, you know, it's super profitable in the beginning and then profits just fall off and go away once a ton of people get on here and using these things. So take advantage of it while you can, if you can. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Make sure you guys uh, check it out. Go over the website, you know, do your own research, all that good stuff. Appreciate you guys watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and we will catch you next time. Peace.